Good morning. My name is Jeanette and we are going sourcing today for Amazon Retail Arbitrage. I was already at Walmart this morning buying groceries at 6 a.m. but now I'm heading back to Walmart so I didn't check the clearance aisle. I need to get some boxes and I think that's it. I already went out sourcing Monday and Wednesday this week. Today is Saturday so I probably won't stay out very long because I've already got about three or four boxes to ship in and I haven't been really feeling well. I'm probably just gonna make a quick trip today. Here she is, Mrs. Walmart. Every time I come to Walmart, I look for the pumpkin spice protein, but it's gone, it's gone. Next thing I'm going to do is head over to the clearance aisle. So the last few times I've been here, they have a lot of this back to school stuff. It pretty much takes up the whole entire clearance aisle. But this other side, ooh, let's look through this stuff. You can make about $20 each on these air fryers, but they don't have any ranking, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna pass on these. These ones are selling for the same exact price on Amazon, so no. I'm over here scanning toys because I'm in the process of getting ungated and I just like to see like what's, what's available, start getting a feel for the toy aisle. So I keep seeing people post about these and I just found two, so I'm gonna take them. I did a little research and the first thing I wanna say is this toy looks so freaking cool. I want one, I wanna play with this. When I found these two at Walmart, I went ahead and got them because at the time Amazon was not on the listing, the ranking was really high and these were becoming hard to find. A few days later, Amazon got on the listing, and this toy is currently the number one bestseller, which means you could sell about 45360 a month. That's crazy. Amazon is selling it for $69.99, but it says that it usually ships within one to two months, so that leads me to believe that they don't have any in stock. When I check Keep It Now, there is over 350 resellers on this listing. And you can see where Amazon will have it in stock and then they run out and then they have it in stock. So if a customer is looking for one of these and they want it now, they don't wanna wait one to two months for it, they can't find it in the store, then they will probably pay the extra money to get this item. It's a hot item, it's the number one item. Another hot item is the refill packs. I have not seen any of these, but I'm keeping my eye out because I think these would be good sellers too. I have also looked into the reviews and there are a few people who are upset that the price went up when the item was less available. That really happens with any item. It could be this item or anything really. If you really want the item and you can't find it, the value goes up. People are willing to pay more for it. So I have a couple of questions. My first question is, did you buy one of these and send it to Amazon? Second question, do you think it will sell? Um, third question, do you think Amazon will sell out? I just have so many questions about these. But anywho, in the meantime, let's get back to my shopping trip. I'm going to take one of these for me because it is so cute cute. Okay, so I got some boxes and I found those egg things. I'm pretty happy with my trip to Walmart and I had picked up some grocery items when I went there earlier this morning. So now I'm going to head over to Home Goods. I've been starting to scan toys a little bit more just to see, you know, like what's out there. And I cannot wait to sell toys. It's so much fun scanning toys. They're so cute and weird and I love them. All right, we are at Home Goods. Let's go see what we can find. And I have some store credit here that I would like to use. How cool is he? 
I just found this toaster and it's so cool. And I thought about getting it. And then I thought about not getting it. So I did pretty good at Home Goods because I found some Disney books that make really good profit. So I'm super excited about those. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next. The next day I packed everything up and calculated my profit. And I found out that everything I got should sell for about $992. It cost me $500, and that would be a profit of $492 for the week. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. It really means the world to me, and I will see you next time. Bye!